back again and we have to start on Jada Pinkett Smith once again. I mean, when is enough enough, okay? Because you've already embarrassed your husband or so-called husband so many times and it took and one of those embarrassments took a hit on his career because your stupid ass want to have an entanglement are you not thinking clearly you know what i'm saying like you've been on a spree or i've seen you on all the smoke et the today show everywhere you know what i'm saying you just make up every story in the book you know what i'm saying just free will smith at this point because Will doesn't need to be with a woman like that. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect. Because I don't want to disrespect anybody's wife. Okay? But why this all started because Jada was bored of Will. Like, what are we gonna hear next? You never met Will Smith? You know what I'm saying? Like, put this woman on mute, okay? Any other outlets who who just happen to reach out to Jada, don't, okay? Don't interview her at all, okay? I don't care if she's working on a book, okay? It's pretty interesting. Why you can't have fun, okay? Because people, they pick and choose, they favoritize other people, athletes, celebrities, whatever. But when it comes to you, they're saying you can't have fun at all. Basically, when you just do a goofy move, just like Pat Bev, Giannis, or Embiid, people just look at you different. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay because... They act because they are so childish, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I call people little ass children because they're so damn sensitive at times. You know what I'm saying? Some people, not all, okay? You might not be one of those people, but to the people that, um, who usually act like this, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know I have to talk about this. How did USC blow a 10 point lead? You guys were cooking gators, you guys were saying Florida hate week. You guys were hating on the Gators, fighting the Gators, punching the Gators. But then y'all got beaten by the Gators. And y'all better be lucky it wasn't at the swamp, at Shrek Swamp at all. Okay? It's just ridiculous. Back up your talk. Okay? Because that, because I looked at y'all's record. Y'all not doing too good. And y'all have not won a, won a uh, national championship in ages. That's why I don't put y'all in the predictions. Okay? That's why y'all are not the favorites every single year. It might change next year. You never know. You may never know. Your boy's Riz versus your Riz. Okay? Because your bro's Riz is always going to be favored. Meanwhile, your Riz is going to be hated, okay? Because what if you've been here longer than your brother? You know what I'm saying? Than your home dog, your bro. You get reported. You're the one that gets in trouble for it, not him. That's favoritism. You know what I'm saying? And it just it baffles me because people, they just favoritize anything. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say focus on yourself because you don't need Riz to be successful. You need your talent to be successful, your personality. Your loss, my gain. Okay? Because that is the attitude that most people should have. Because if you're focused on your dream and your girl is just not interested, walk out the door. Okay? But then when, when you find somebody else, you know what I'm saying? And things go downhill for her Then that's a huge W Because she's realizing what she is missing in life You know what I'm saying Because you long gone When she needs you You are just long gone You up out of there That's karma Because remember You chose this life I was heartbroken And now you know exactly What the fuck it feels like huh Thank you.